I'm going to show you how I set up a simple electroforming bath. It's perfect for the hobbyist. A few supplies are the electroforming solution, 16 gauge wire, 24 gauge wire, a rectifier, and safety goggles, as well as a wire cutter. So the first thing I'm going to do is measure out my 16 gauge wire. I would say maybe three to four coils would be perfect. So what I'm going to do here is get my three to four coils. I'm going to cut it with my wire cutters. And then one thing I like to do is take a, a cylinder. Like here I have this kills. And so what I do is I wrap the wire around it just to make it a little bit smaller and it'll fit into your beaker a little bit easier. After you have your coils set up how you like them, you're gonna take maybe an inch or two inches and you're gonna fold that part away from the coils. So when you place these, this wire into the beaker, you wanna push it down towards the bottom and have it extend up towards the top, leaving that little piece outside of the beaker. What I'm doing here is I'm taking scotch tape and you place it towards the top, not all the way to the top, and that's just going to tell you where to pour your solution, where to stop pouring it. The purpose of that is that your solution sometimes will evaporate, and a way that you can fill it back up is by pouring distilled water and a little drop or two of brightener. Okay, now what I'm doing is making the bus bar. So I'm going to cut my 16 gauge wire and I would say maybe to leave about an inch on each side of the beaker and you bend it to make it match the top of your beaker. Using the 24 gauge wire, you're going to measure out a piece, just kind of eyeball it that'll fit inside the solution without hitting the bottom. Wrap it around the bus bar three to four times and then curve the end up. For this video, I'm making a ring, so my ring is gonna dangle on the end of that wire. I've zoomed in so that you can see the 24 gauge wire up close along with the bus bar. And my rectifier is brand new out of the box. What I'm going to do is connect the black wire to the prong in the front to the black and do the same thing with the red wire. Your red wire is going to connect to the coil that's on the inside of the beaker and the black wire connects to the bus bar. A trick I heard is that the black, uh, the black wire connects to the bus bar where you have the black conductive paint on the object that you're electroforming. Okay, place it into the solution. Turn your rectifier on. Make sure the bus bar is not touching the coil. And you want to make sure both knobs are turned to the left and slightly turn that knob at the top until you see that red light, the CC light come on. Okay, now I'm turning up the amps at the bottom. You want maybe 0.1 amp per inch. And I always start off kind of slow in the beginning to see how it's growing on my item. So here about 10 minutes later, I'm coming to check on my ring. When you take it out of the solution, turn off the rectifier. And if the color of the copper is kind of a salmon color, it means that your amps aren't high enough. And if it's a nice, you know, shiny color, that's good. But if you notice it's a really burnt looking, it means that you have your amps way too high. So I check it. I put it back into to the solution and I'm going to turn up my amps a little more. I'm not a scientist. I kind of just eyeball it. I would say my piece is about two and a half to three inches. So I'm going to put it back into my solution, make sure none of the wires are touching each other, turn it back on, and I'm going to use the bottom knob to turn up my amps. I've come back and checked my ring several times. I like to wiggle it so it doesn't stick to the 24 gauge wire. And I turn off my rectifier, I take it out, and you'll notice 
that everything has been, everywhere you had the conductive paint is now covered in copper. So this is what it looks like. If it doesn't look shiny, that's okay. You can use a Dremel or a brass brush to shine it up and it'll look nice and bright.